Hi, my name is Jordan Parsons and I'm the lead game programmer for Impromptu Studios and today I'll be showing you how to connect to our Perforce server depot um, after we install the P4V visual client software. So uh, we'll go ahead and set up a local workspace on your PC, pull down data from the depot into your workspace, and then finally connecting Unreal Engine 4 to the Perforce server. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and open up your web browser and navigate to perforce.com. And this will allow us to go ahead and download all the software tools that we need uh, for connecting us up to our perforce uh, depot. So go ahead and click on downloads. Perforce is great because they, they do offer this free 20 user edition. So you can go ahead and select that. And you're going to go uh, to the Perforce client software. Select your platform, your um, version that you need, and go ahead and click accept and continue. Go ahead and let this download, and then I'll come back. Okay, so now that everything is downloaded, we can go ahead and click on here. We're going to be going ahead and uh, setting up all the defaults. Um, there's nothing too much you have to customize except for the server name, but uh, we're going to go ahead and walk you through that anyways. You can go ahead and close out of your browser right now as well. We do not need the administration tool unless you need it. Um, unless you're an admin for the Perforce Depot for this installation, uh, just go ahead and download command line, visual merge tool, and the actual P4V, uh, which is mandatory. And here we will type in our Perforce server, which is perforce.impromptustudios.com, port number 1666. Go ahead and do uh, whatever notepad uh, or text editing application you want. Uh, for me, it's notepad. Uh, notepad++ works as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and enter my Perforce username and go ahead and let this start. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while this installation uh, takes place and then we'll come back. Okay, now that it's almost done here. Okay, now that it's finished, go ahead and click finish. And we will go ahead and load up P4V. Same information. Uh, we're going to go ahead and create a new workspace. Uh, I'll go ahead and click New. This is our server depot um, that we can connect to. Right now, this checkbox at the top. You can go ahead and select everything down below. Config, content, and source. Those are the only files that you'll uh, need to get set up. Um, you can name your workspace, anything you want. Here we'll just do Prompto Studios Tutorial. We'll go ahead and update that. If you need to update anything else or add any uh, rules or if you only want content for artists, um, the content folder to pull down, you don't want anything else, uh, you can. Um, we've kind of configured everything to make sure that anybody can download this and then developer uh, specific uh, tasks will be completed later. So for right now this is fine. You can go ahead and uh, just at the very top make sure the green check box is on depot and then uh, go ahead and click OK. Then click OK again. And here is our workspace. Uh, of course, you have the Depot tab and the Workspace tab. Depot tab shows everything uh, as far as config, content, source, just like you saw before. Um, so right here, you want to go ahead and get latest revision. Now go ahead and pull down everything that you need. And while it's doing this, I'll go ahead and pause the video again and uh, go ahead and I'd save you guys from having to watch this. So now that we have uh, synced our, our workspace with our depot, we will go ahead and um, 
I'll go ahead and uh, generate the other files that we need. Uh, you can go ahead and open up your workspace and Windows Explorer. Go ahead and drill down and go ahead to generate Visual Studio project files if you are a programmer. Um, otherwise, if you don't need that, then you can go ahead and launch game. Uh, for now, we will go ahead and launch game and let it compile. Yep, project modules are missing or out of date. Would you like to recompile them? Click yes. When it uh, finishes compiling, it's going to go ahead and load up the project. Uh, we are calling this project twin. Just wait for it to load. And as you can see, everything works as far as playing the game. Can go ahead and close out of that. And we will go ahead and generate Visual Studio project files. So now that those are there, we can go ahead and compile our game. Uh, you can load this up in Visual Studio. You can go ahead and hit Control F5 and it will build the game for you uh, and give you the editor. So here you go. Now from the editor, uh, you can go ahead and we're going to go ahead and connect this up to Perforce um, so that we can deploy. Um, so go ahead and select, oh, before I do that, this little red button, this is one way to connect or you can actually drill down to a folder, um, right click, connect to source control, you can do both ways. Uh, this is the method I prefer up here, go ahead and click Perforce. Same information that you provided to the workspace. Um, the workspace that we're going to select here, you can go ahead and browse for this uh, Impromptu Studios tutorial. Um, click the drop down to enter more information. If you do have a password, uh, which uh, Impromptu Studios does for each member, go ahead and enter this password now. Let's make sure I entered it correctly. Go ahead and accept settings. And now you'll get a green. Uh, sync upstream downstream symbol up here that means that you are successfully connected as well as the big message that just popped up here a few seconds ago so if we were to wanting uh, if we're wanting to go ahead and deploy and, and here's the check boxes too um, so all these are actually currently checked out by somebody else but we can go ahead and create blueprints based on this if you want we'll go ahead and just do this as a test don't need that Alright, so if we want to change something in here, um, let's say that we want to change activation to not auto. Uh, we'll go ahead and compile. Now it shows up down here with the question mark, meaning it is not uh, deployed. Um, you can go ahead and mark for add directly in the editor itself. It will go ahead and add to source control for you and now that you have it. So you can go ahead and check that in. File, oh, let's see, added sample character blueprint to source control can be deleted. Go ahead and click OK. And now you're change has been submitted to Perforce. Uh, you can go up here and double check that that has been added. Good content, blueprints, my character, child asset. So that is there. Um, it'll probably end up in pending. Um, 
let's double check that the depot has it okay it already got it directly from the engine so uh, that's all that you need to do um, as far as this goes setting up your Unreal Engine 4 to Perforce and installing Perforce so what we went over today is uh, how to connect Perforce server to our Perforce server depot uh, we set up a local workspace on your PC we'll, we pulled data down from our depot and then finally we connected Unreal Engine to the Perforce depot as well so hope this helps anybody on the team Thanks.